What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 92 of our Atalanta Career Mode, and today, three games for you. We were originally going to do the three league games and then the two cup games in a separate episode, but I think we're just going to go how the calendar goes about it, um, regardless of how ridiculous I think it is. Lazio, Inter, and then we are going to do the Copa Nazionale final, and then next episode, we'll do the league final, and then, of course, the Champions League final as well, unless... We don't have to play this Roma game, though. I think we get the trophy that day if we were to collect the trophy. But we'd have to win today. Juventus would have to lose next time, and we'd have to win and be four points in. It, it, it'd have to be up a lot. But let's jump into this. We're going to start with that Lazio game. And hopefully, everybody's fit and raring to go, and they are. So let's jump into this Lazio Atalanta we have a really, really tough run in, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, battle it out. Three wins and we are champions, so we just got to go one game at a time. So here we are, Atalanta Lazio. Let's go. Ooh, nicely stepped inside. There's space here. He goes for goal. That's a great save early. I kind of stepped into that gap, hoping to play the other guy offside. He went for goal. Nubel forced into a good save. Of course, Nubel in net. After Onana out for the rest of the year with a training injury. Not what we wanted to see. But Nubel, of course, we kept him around. And this is obviously why. And he's right in. And we've conceded. 1-0 to Lazio. Not good. Not good. They've just played right around us there. Looks like Lazari with the goal. Not ideal. It is Lazari. Really, really bad start. We've barely had the ball. They've had two chances. One of being a goal. It's a lovely one-two football there. It's a good finish. Not what we wanted to see on six minutes. So holding on to it. It's decent football here. Can we play it through? We can. Lovely stuff. This is brilliant. What a save. Oseman can't get there. I thought he was going to tap that in. Really good defending. That was brilliant football on our end. We just could not finish it off. Ooh, Jesus, where is he passing that ball to? Can we recycle it? Saka. Steps inside. Plays it through to Depay. Lovely touch from the Dutchman. He slides it across. He can't. Oh, Simon. Oh, he's dragged it. It was tough. He had to go back and get it, but... Oh, he's just got to get that on target, surely. After they've started so well, we've come back the other way and... Had a couple of chances, but we got to finish one of ours. It's a good tackle there. How can we turn and break forward? It's a good turn from Osiman, and he slips it forward to Galeno. Steps inside Galeno, and Galeno! Oh, what a save! An excellent, excellent near post save by Strakosha. And once again, causing problems, but we haven't found the back of the net yet. And that is not what we want to see. Lazari racing away from Saka here. Clips the ball in. That was way too easy. It's 2 0. That's so annoying. And that's why I don't mind bringing the pace down because there's no way that Saka doesn't catch him up without the ball. Lazari just raced away. Ball comes down, falls to Milinkovic Savage, and he hammers it home. And we're 2 0 behind. They've had two, well, they had the first two chances of the game. Three, I guess, all game now. There was a huge gap there between their goal and their next chance. That is an absolute nightmare. And we need three goals here to stay ahead of Juventus. We're, we got a half and a couple minutes there to really do it. Free kick in a dangerous spot. Can we grab something here before halftime? It's Simicon moving around with the ball. Needs a little bit of help. Gets it out to Tielemans. And Tielemans does well. Still holding it. There's Coutinho now. Can we get something before the half? As we've said, Osiman. Just trying to find something. It comes to Sanchez. Tielemans again. And it comes through to Osiman. Steps back inside. Poor sliding challenge. Oh, it's a good save. And it's halftime at 2 0. And. We need a mammoth second half. Oh, nicely played. 
steps inside a good spot. Brilliant. Brilliant from Lazio. It's 3 0. We are going to drop points today. They've bare, every time they've gone forward, they've grabbed a goal. And it's not even like they've had chances. Every time they go forward, they grab a goal. And they never go forward. And we've had so many opportunities. Mitrovic just hammers this home. And we are going to go into the last two games here. An hour left. We are going to go into the last two games needing Juventus to drop points. And it's such a shame. Absolute shame. We've had so many opportunities. The fact that we don't have any says a lot because we've had a ton of opportunities. Free kick here. Cunha is the one standing over it. And we're about to enter out of time. It's not going to really matter if this goes in or not. It's a decent hit, though, and a decent save. But, yes, a 3-0 loss here. And that is devastating at this point in the season. But, it, once again, another team who plays three at the back has ripped us apart. And as I said before, this f the current ultimate difficulty is made for teams who play five at the back. The computer side, at least, ripped us apart. They're forward... They're up, the wingbacks are up the pitch and down the pitch each time. And we had so many chances in the middle there to level it up, take the lead, all that sort of stuff. It never happened. We never got it past Strakosha. And that is a devastating loss. Now, in, or, um, Juventus have a tough game at the end of the year, but we have to win ours. We're going to play Inter right now. They play a way to Inter on the final day. We're going to need to beat Inter here and hope Inter do us a favor on the final day. Who do Juventus play before the final day here? Obviously, we play them in the in the tournament there. But, yeah, see, they're a way to Inter on the final day. And they're a way to Sassuolo. If Sassuolo can do us a favor, we had to beat them really, really late. But we're only two points ahead of Lazio and Milan as well. They may Hopefully, they play on the Saturday. Juventus they do not they play with us here so big game obviously <sighs> that was so disappointing that display <laughs> it just it just was um, I'm actually gonna play Barrow here instead of Depay and then I'm gonna play Tavares I'm gonna not play Saka because he couldn't keep up with anybody I hate this just I, ha I hate the way the paces. We're also going to play Danny Almo. There. And actually, you know what? We can play Kunde as well. So let's jump into this. Inter Atalanta. A big old game, obviously, but we need to win. We need to win. Nicely done. Here's Barrow. Can slip it through to Osimin. And Osimin steps back inside, finds a good ball out to Coutinho. Brilliant! And there it is 1 0. A lovely little finish from the Brazilian. It's a great ball in there from Osiman. And an early 1-0 lead. It's a good run. Needed to make that space. And he has plenty of it in the center of the park there. Even Barrow over there in the frame now. He was all alone. I could have played it to him and he would have had a shot six or seven yards out all alone. Plenty of space though and Coutinho makes no mistake. And it's 1-0. One more. Coutinho. He finds Barrow, and Barrow's pace takes him right through the gap there. And Barrow, ooh, puts it wide. A decent opportunity there. Really ought to get that on target. Nicely done. Sache can play it forward to Coutinho. Coutinho steps inside. See Sanchez. Can we get that out there to Osimin? We can. Good touch from Osimin. Oh, just past the post. Another pretty big opportunity, and we've had a couple now. Would love to add a second goal. Calm the nerves just a little bit, but at the moment we're creating opportunities and Inter really aren't. Nicely done by Casaccia to get that through to Danny Olmo. It's out wide to Coutinho, steps inside, and Barrow's making the run. Very quick up front, Barrow, and Barrow's in space, 2 0. Another goal now, and we have a little bit of a gap. And hopefully Sassuolo are doing us a favor, but. We have to do what we have to do. We just stepped inside him. Hammered it past Andanovic. We have another goal. 2-0 here on 35 minutes. We got to win this one, so we got to keep up the pressure. 
Nicely played forward. One more. We slip that through. We can. And he just left it for Sanchez. And Sanchez is racing forward with it. He's going to go for goal. That's a decent save. Is that Sanchez? It says Sanchez. Did they mess his hair up in game? I think his hair just has a little bit of an issue at the moment. But I was looking for the hair. But it was Sanchez there. He had a big opportunity. We could not quite finish it off. And really find that third killer goal. Two minutes to go here. And we are going to come away with the three points. We're going to have to check and see how Juventus did. But... All we had really here is to do what we could as that ball eventually gets to him and then gets poked away. It's going to be a corner here as it gets slipped in. Headed away. Game over. A 2-0 win here over Inter. And uh, this will go down to the final day. Serie A will go down to the final day. Once again, last year we won it on the final day. This year it goes down to the final day. And Juventus won 4-0. So, yeah. Thank you, Sassuolo. We appreciate it. But now they go away to Inter on the final day. It is going to be, obviously, very nerve-wracking. But to the big game of the episode, we have the Copa Nazionale final against Juventus. Maybe we can give them a little bit of a shake before the league season ends as well. And plus, we have them coming for the... Um, Champions League final as well so it's all about us and Juventus the last two days here but let's jump into this final Atalanta Juventus Copa Nazionale a humongous final let's see who's fit and ready for it everybody's fit and ready for it let's jump into this let's go ahead win a trophy scare Juventus a bit and see if we can get them to tumble for the rest of the season as well A lot of space here for Juventus as they race forward. Mendy does well. Clips it in. Simicon pushed a little bit there as he was falling over. But he does manage to get the header away. Did very, very well. And that comes in. Taken down. But it's going to come to Juventus. Player is 1-0. What in the world has happened there? Ronaldo with the header. What was that? Juventus get off the mark in this Copa final. I thought we had that. We chested it down. How in the world did he get a foot on that? Here it comes. Cross comes in. Chest it down. Oh, he's just left it, really. And then Nubel came to punch it and missed. Does Onana get to that? Does Onana leave the goal? You never know. Questions to be asked. But... Either way, we're 1-0 down in this final. Steps inside. Finds a ball to Osiman. Back inside. Come on, guys. We're making really bad decisions. It's a lovely ball forward. It's Jesus. Simicon chasing him toward the byline. Oh, he does manage to get that across. What a ball. It's 2-0 to Juventus. Fabinho with the goal. He took the camera from the cameraman who's just... Oh, no, he just swung him around, I hope. Unbelievable. Gotta stop that cross coming in. It's a good cross, and he just gets there ahead of Pereira. Not a good start here, is it? We wanted to put Juventus in their place, win a trophy. Deal with them for the rest of the year. And this is going the exact opposite way that we would have liked. Big, big touch. Simicon gets it forward here. Nicely done. Make that run, Depay. He is going to make that run. And Depay gets onto it. And Depay, he's finished it up and we're back in it. Pick up the ball, lad, and bring it back. Right before halftime, we've pulled one back. A huge goal. Needed to get one. It's lovely football. I was waiting for Depay to make that run. He eventually did. Kind of slowed up. And I thought it wasn't going to happen here. Eventually he got into that space, touched it outside, and just rolled it past the man in goal. It's a decent goal here. And hopefully we've woken ourselves up for the rest of this final. Nice take. One more here. Can we get that through to Osiman? We can. And Osiman steps inside nicely. Brilliant from Osiman. And he can slide it there. Brilliant! 2-2! Two -two. 
excellent, excellent vision and play from Osiman. And Coutinho hammers it home, and we've leveled it here. We are level in the final. Brilliant from Osiman. And he just sends the goalkeeper the opposite way with his movement, and then just brings it back the other way. Brilliant from Coutinho. Brilliant from Osiman. And at the moment now, we should have the momentum. And the drive, hopefully, to go forward here is 2-2. Brilliant from Sanchez. And Sanchez, that's a huge save. I don't know if I could got... I don't know if I could have gotten that across. But at the moment, we very much have the wind in our sails. Can we take advantage? One more. Depay loses it. Comes out to Saka, though. Drag it forward here. Depay, brilliant. He's in a great space. Depay, it's three. And we have turned it around. From 2-0 down to 3-2 up in the final. Two goals in five minutes. And with a half hour to go, we lead. In our first attempt at a trophy this year. Three games in a row here that we're going to attempt to get trophies. At the moment, we're 3-2 up. That's a brilliant finish from Depay. A great run as well. A bit late once again. And I don't know if that's just planning on his part but a couple of late runs but they've eventually gotten there and he scored both times brilliantly done and it's 3-2 on the hour play is starting to stretch now as Juventus chase this game Sanchez making a really good run in here and it's Sanchez and can he finish he can and it's the fourth and we've scored four straight it's 4-2 a lot of fours in there, but with 12 minutes to go, we have a two-goal cushion in the Copa Nazionale final. A humongous goal, and the midfielder just kept running. Fabinho couldn't keep up. One touch, sets himself, lashes it past the man in goal, who looks like Ter Stegen, by the way. And with 11 minutes to go, we are on our way here. A two-goal lead as we look for a trophy. Racing forward now, Juventus, but they need two goals in two minutes. And we've taken the ball away, and it looks like we are going to come away. Copa Nazionale champions. Back to back now. As that gets played out wide, and we look for another. Take a clip to the top of the box. Great take, five. And we just rub salt in the wounds a little bit. A lovely little finish. But Copa Nazionale champions, 5-2 the final. And we have another date with Juventus coming, but this is an excellent little finish. Clip ball in, perfect from Cunha. Takes it on his chest. What else? Fires it first time past the goalkeeper. No chance into that bottom corner. And we are going to collect our first trophy of the season of hopefully three. We want to go back-to-back -back trebles, but there we go. As everybody celebrates, that's what some of these players have come to the club for. Lengle, Pereira, all these players. Kessie, they want trophies, and we've got one here. As everyone is bouncing around, happy as can be. And there's a trophy, but the season is not done yet. We've got two more opportunities for trophies. We need help with one, but a Champions League final coming as well. It will be tough. It will be tough. Once again, Juventus. Lengle is set to lift the trophy. He became captain, I suppose, at some point during the game. I believe when Coutinho went off later. But Lengle is set to lift the trophy. This is what he came in for during the summer. 90 million pound signing. And he is going to lift the Copa Nazionale trophy. Our second in two years. Our fourth trophy in a row as well of the four competitions. We won the treble last year, and then this one, of course, the first trophy up for grabs. And we took it four competitions in a row in which we've won. Very, very well done as we move on. Excellent, excellent performance. And we grab ourselves a Victory. Nicely done. Copa Nazionale. Oh my god. Copa Nazionale winners. There we go. 5-2 the final. An excellent, excellent game and a great comeback. It was 2-0 early and didn't look that great. One goal before halftime and we made the most of what was coming afterwards. So next episode, as you can see, we have the final day 
against Roma. Juventus play Inter. Are they on the road? I hope they're on the road. That would be ideal. Obviously, they're a very good side still. They are on the road. That is good. And we are at home. And hopefully we can go ahead and grab that player of the episode. I'm going to go with Depay. He really bought us back into this game in the Copa Nazionale, of course. We're going to pretend the first game didn't exist. The 2-0 win after that was pretty standard. And he stuck out the most in this game against Juventus. Bought us back into it, as we said, and really set us off in the second half. So Memphis Depay, winner of our player of the episode. So next episode, the last game of Serie A. The Champions League final, and then we are going to take a look at the squad hub and, you know, do our end of season, end of series type of thing. And then we are going to sign everybody to contracts. And then our five years in the future, and we will be done with Atalanta. It'll be end up being, what is this, 92? So it'll be 94 episodes of Atalanta. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, but... That is it for now. So next episode, these two games and the series finale pretty much. And then our five years in the future, guys. But that is it. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.